And we're back for the 2013 Core 77 Design Awards. I'm Sarah Spear, and I'm the Program Manager for the Design Awards Program here in New York City. Um, we're live here to announce the Consumer Products category winners and honorees. So with that being said, thanks so much for tuning in, and now we'll go ahead and turn it over to Oliver, who's live with his team in Hamburg, Germany. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, this is the 2013 Core 77 Design Awards jury um, for the Consumer. Uh, products category, and um, well, my name is Oliver Grabes. I'm the chairman of the category of the, of the jury, and to my left I have uh, Christina Hilcher, and to my right um, Rory McGarry. And um, well, we are the bigger part of the the jury. The other two members unfortunately couldn't be here today. Um, it's Andreas Kalweit and it's also Jan Seibert, and they will. Um, hopefully join us uh, viewing this, um, but I mean, unfortunately, they couldn't be here in Kronberg. And we're live here from Kronberg, very close to Frankfurt in Germany, and are really very excited to announce today the category uh, no notables, runner-ups, and also winners. Right, so... Yeah, and with this, I think we'll start with the notables of the student category. Um, the first notable <coughs> mention goes to Animal Coffin by Amanda Oesterlin Lamont. Louis Knoppert and Christian Frank Müller from Design Academy Eindhoven in the Netherlands. Animal Coffin is a biodegradable coffin made from recycled waste materials with flower and tree seeds embedded. A tree will grow where the beloved animal is buried, thus providing a long-lasting memorial. We as a jury felt that this concept is a poetic and beautiful solution to a sensitive situation. And the second student notable goes to Loop Socket Wrench by Nicholas Pennington and Chase Spaulding from North Carolina State University in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Loop is a socket set that aims to be durable, quality tool set in a compact package that provides efficient organization, rod uses, simple identification, uh, all within an aesthetic treatment to set it apart from the rest of the tool set on the market. Uh, we, the jury, felt there was a very clear aesthetic functional design solution to an everyday tool. The third uh, student notable uh, is going to uh, Agile, a short track speed skater headgear designed by Matthias Hindermann from Art Center College of Design in Pasadena. Agile is a high performance headgear for short track speed skaters and introduces a headgear without a chin strap. We liked it because the form language reflects the aerodynamic elements that are key to this sport. Okay, <coughs> moving to the next notable. Um, this is for the project Triton by Ross Brinkman from Purdue University in West Lafayette uh, in the US. Triton is a redesign of the current water polo cap. It is a conceptual piece of sports equipment to bring attention and excitement to water polo as well as comfort and simplicity to the players. Triton is a well-resolved solution that brings aesthetics and design innovation to a niche product category. And another notable? And uh, another notable? Right. is the Zias 3D by Stefan Reinhardt, University of Wuppertal in Wuppertal, Germany. The Zias 3D is one of the first desktop 3D printers that actually fits on a desk designed for users that need to verify their form geometries fast and easy. It is made for consultancies, design departments, and even for your home office. Um, we, the jury, felt that the compact 3D printer is designed with great attention to detail and is well resolved in the functional elements. And another student notable is uh, going to uh, Scott Thorne from Purdue University, and it's the Traverse Navigation Watch. The Traverse is a navigation system that works where GPS doesn't. The first part is the watch. It provides a map of the road you have covered so that you can follow it back to the start. The second part is a gyroscopic motion sensor, which is secured under the shoelaces to accurately track the user's movement. We felt the holistic design solution meets the aesthetics and the functional requirements of its niche target group perfectly. All right. Now we come to the first runner-up in the student category. This one goes to Nayak's Grow by Salim Dogan Sekercioglu from Umiya University of Design in Umiya, Sweden. Nayak's Grow is a discrete asthma management system. It combines a personal management station, an air cleaner, a family interface, an online community, and a mobile app for teenagers. It aims to share management information on multiple platforms to decrease the intrusive behavior of the family members and encourage the teenagers to manage their condition. 
We as a jury um, found that this holistic design solution takes into account a globally critical and intimate health issue. We would li have liked to see more details of the use in-use in experience of the product, but the form and material choices are overall sophisticated, discrete, and modern. Moving away from the med medical technical solutions that exist today into a more home lifestyle world, the system includes a developed interaction design and holistically supports the patient, medical professionals, and family members. <coughs> and the second student runner-up is the Cross Trainer by Andrew Luva and Carleton University School of Design in Chicago, Illinois, USA. The Cross Trainer wheelchair is designed to introduce disabled youth to adaptive sports. Its innovative design qualifies it for government funding, grants for daily use wheelchairs, but packs all features of a wheel sports wheelchair. It's a wheelchair that greatly increases the accessibility of disabled sports youth. We, the jury, felt that the concept is an affordable and accessible way to offer a variety of sports uses to disabled youth. Um, with government funding possibilities and in-depth production analysis, we felt the concept is well worked through. Um, although we thought the technical solution could be a little bit better integrated into an overall design more targeted to youth. You have a very sexy voice today. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, Sorry. Kermit very the Frog. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Excellent. All right, so here's now the winner concepts, uh, concept for students. Category. The winner of the uh, 2013 uh, Course 77 student category is Hello, the Laundry Care Experience by Benjamin Riot and Valentine, Valentine Solier from Ecole de Design Nantes Antique um, in Nantes, France. This is a combination of two products. It's a washing machine and it's a clothes basket working together <coughs> within a service. Hello is designed to offer a whole new experience of washing clothes by linking together a person who has a washing machine and someone who is looking to get the laundry done. <laughs> really perfect match, right? So, <laughs> Well, the jury comments. While the overall concept needs work to fit into a business model, we found the way the system breaks down into the individual and shared product parts holistic and interesting. To have the washing machine drum separated from the machine could be an innovative <laughs> approach to a topic that affects many users globally. We like the overall aesthetics of the product, um, and including the functional details such as the holes in the drum becoming an authentic design element. We think the concept would be a better business case for apartment complexes, uh, where the machine can be stored in a community washing room. Each apartment owners could then have their own drum and access to the shared machines. Now, rather than awarding a niche product, we found this is a novel idea for an everyday task that is highly re relevant for many users across um, the world, and that's why we felt it is a great, uh, great winner for the student category. And uh, yeah, congratulations to Benjamin and Valentin. Right, now okay, so we, take a, we take now a long break, so <laughs> to be prepared for the professional category. No, we don't. And well, oh, we are. are you ready for <laughs> for uh, changing categories? And well, not categories. We're still in the consumer category, but now in the professional section. And we'll start with some notables as well. Okay. So first notable for the professional goes to Hidden Radio Wireless Speaker by the Hidden Design Team in San Francisco. The Hidden Radio is an intuitive wireless speaker and FM radio. It captivates the user through the intuitive functionality of the interactive cap, creating a unique semantic connection. We as a jury felt that this product beautifully translates the volume control into a conceptual and intuitive gesture. And the second professional noble, hopefully you can understand me, <laughs> is the Transporter Social Change Drive by Rick Lewis and 702 from Connected Data in Palo Alto, California. What makes Transporter truly unique is the ability to communicate and share files in a peer-to-peer -peer fashion with computers and other transporter devices located anywhere in the world. This ability eliminates privacy concerns, recurring fees, and all the complexity associated with syncing files over the internet. Um, we, the jury, felt the concept to have your private data easily accessible globally from your home speaks to today's needs in the digital world while addressing um, important security concerns. So the next uh, notable in the professional category is um, is Eaton Boost Turbine by Ripsaw in San Jose. 
The boost turbine is a backup power source for personal electric uh, electronics, such as a mobile phone. For everyday or emergency use, this battery pack with integrated hand turbine power generator will keep you always charged up without relying on the grid. Boost turbine is an effective, fast, and efficient green power source. So the jury liked the idea to create uh, power away from the power source, um, and we felt this is resolved with a very simple, clean, and aesthetic design. Okay, next notable for the professionals is Yak Trucks by Bolt Group in Charlotte, North Carolina. Yak Trucks Run is the first of its kind winter traction product designed specifically for runners. It fits over running shoes, giving added control and confidence on snow and ice. And we like this product versatility and that it brings elements from extreme winter gear into everyday lifestyle use. And the last professional notable is that <coughs> All right. right, is the Chill Cooling Pours Out by Aaron Malapino in Seattle, Washington, USA for Host Studios. <clears throat> chill is a wine cooler solution. Just pour the first glass, insert the cooling, pour spout, the wine becomes chilled. The Chill's integrated leak-proof stopper keeps your half bottle fresh while your cooling rod recharges in the freezer. This product is a friendly design for a novel and convenient way to chill your beverage. Okay. You had, no, too, I think you had too much beverage, maybe, <laughs> because of the voice. <laughs> so, no? Yeah. Okay. I Good. think we're moving to the runner ups. Yes. No more notables. So, the first runner up for the <coughs> professional category is um, going to Rolf by Rolf Spectacles Design Team in Weißenbach am Lech, Austria. Rolf Spectacles produces handmade, lightweight wooden, bamboo, and woodstone eyeglass frames. Re the research and development team has created an innovative hinge for its eyewear made of wood and specialized Rolf lens glazing system. The Rolf wooden eyewear is produced completely in wood and without any metal parts or screws. We as a jury felt that there are very few products more personal than eyeglasses. In, in this area, most everything has been explored. Growing new different ways in this product category is especially difficult, and therefore we appreciate how Rolf created a completely new structure out of wood, including the connection part and pivot points. The wood is, in this case, not used as a superfluous decoration material, but as the structural element of the product itself. All right. So All right. One more. One before, more the before the winner. OK. Uh, professional runner-up. Here it is. You probably know it from the internet. The professional <laughs> runner-up is Form 1 by Form Lines in Cambridge, Massachusetts, USA. The Form 1 desktop 3D printer marries print quality, usability, and affordability. The printer's inverted stereolithography SL technology achieves a print resolution previously limited to complex high-end machines. We, the jury, um, see 3D printing as a developing area for design and absolutely relevant, allowing designers to go away from high capital to low invest and more individual product design possibilities. This particular design is a good example of functional design that is not over complex in the details, although the technology itself is very complex. The result is an aesthetic. Um, and user-friendly design solution. Uh, we felt the design still needs to prove its success on the market. They want to recognize the process of creating new ideas through crowdfunding. Excellent. Well, then there's only one project left, and that's actually the winner of the uh, professional category. So drums, please. Drums, play more drama. <coughs> All right. So the 2013 consumer Products score 77 winner of the professional category goes to LAPCA Personal Environment Monitor by the LAPCA design team in San Francisco, California. LAPCA is a tiny personal environment monitor that connects to your phone to measure, collect, and analyze the hidden qualities of your surroundings. LAPCA's precise lens sensor responds to the invisible world of particles, ions, molecules, and waves. You can collect snapshots of your comfort throughout the day to create a diary or share with the world around you. The jury comments. Labka is a representative product for the new possibilities of, of, of combining hardware with software interaction design, creating holistic product experiences. We really like the pure and sophisticated yet playful approach of the form and the materials. Precise measures of invisible environmental uh, impact are visualized in beautiful ways making them almost tangible. 
Environmental concerns such as radiation are addressed in a poetic and palatable way throughout a product that avoids the typical elements of technical or medical devices. So we felt this is a perfect product for uh, yeah, winning this category of combining software and hardware, uh, interaction design and physical industrial design in a beautiful, really nice way. So congratulations to Lapka, but also congratulations to all of the other notables, um, runner-ups, and also winners of this year's competition. Um, thank you very much. We had a lot of fun in the jury session. Us five, where we were reviewing many, many really good concepts. We had uh, great work, very strong discussions about what is, you know, what what is uh, you know the right thing to do today in in 2013, and what projects are interesting, and what design is really about, and what matters most. So um, great day of of judging, and uh, well, to everybody who didn't win anything this year, then you know, of course, please join next year again and try it again. Um, you know, design is such a very exciting, uh, you know, thing to do um, and something that we can change the world at least a little bit with. And um, so keep on trying. And again, congratulations to everybody who received some prizes today. Well, this was it, I think, from, yeah. from Kronberg here. We will now, as in good German culture, we'll have now a beer, of course, <laughs> as, um, as that Not is. Me. Not you? OK. <laughs> Well, you go to bed and get a better voice again. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for joining. Thanks for uh, listening in, and uh, hope to see you soon. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye-bye. Great. Thanks, guys. Um, congrats to everyone who won uh, an honor in the consumer products category. We've got a really great group of honorees this year. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll have all of these in our gallery website online at core77designawards.com, so you can view additional photos, watch some videos, learn a little bit more about the, the designers as well. Um, so that's it for consumer products. Uh, we'll see you again at 3 p.m. Eastern time for our soft goods category, so be sure to join us then. Thanks a lot.